I would love to know why you're sober. Huh? Why are, why you, are sober? you sober? Oh God, I don't. Know. Probably the similar reason with you. Probably just being a comic and drinking all the time. And, yeah. You know, falling down and hit your head on stuff and being <laughs> like, "Well, that was dumb." Same. Like, I got, yeah, I broke my jaw last year drinking. Why? I got this thing on my head. I freaking. You it. fell down and broke your fucking jaw. Broke my fucking jaw. Oh, there. Oh my absolute God. Hell on oh, earth. Man. Yeah. Here we go. Oh baby. <laughs> there we go. This is, dude. So we do, we do, we like to do on the show, we yeah. do an I Am Poppy segment on the show, and this is the I Am Poppy segment Absolutely. right here, is my daughter who's fallen out of her crib, which you spoke about in the last episode, uh-huh. has a helmet that she needs to uh-huh. wear now, and this is my daughter's helmet. That's oh, very that's sweet. So do you feel like you need this if you start drinking again? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to need it. I'm going to need full body armor with that. Dude, I mean, first of all, yeah. here's the thing. Let me t- so, so I don't even remember... I don't even remember the setup to the joke, but Adam did a bit about something about being like in court, and then he he called himself Little Stinker. Uh-huh. I, the judge calls me Little Stinker. The judge calls the himself, the yeah. ju- prosecutor calls himself <laughs> Little Stinker, and it hit me so hard that we, for the my Montreal trip yeah. for the next 48 hours, was dedicated to Little Stinker. Yeah. And, and, yeah that and, joke has never, nobody has ever remembered that line. <laughs> No, it's just like the prosecution calls little stinker to the stand, and it never does that well. But it fucking set him on fire. I, I was screaming in the it back. Set him on Literally, fire. Oh I was God. dying, and and then we started going little stinker, and then you know, and 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 it literally was. I remember going to the after party that night and saying, "Little stinker." Is fucking with me or he's against me? <laughs> so I said, so I said, little stinker's fucking in. And if you come to the show at Tarrytown, which is sold out, little stinker will be on that. And if you come to the show at the Chicago Theater, September thirtieth, little stinker will be on that because his native hometown, Chicago. Hell and yeah. that's all you'll do. Well, I, I, will. <laughs> <laughs> I I I claim Chicago. That was I was there for the last four years. But I'm from uh, I'm from Indiana actually. Oh, Indiana, I'm a Hoosier. Yeah, from yeah. the Klan, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Birthplace of the clan. Yeah. <laughs> but but the thing is, is is, you know, the the, the that bit, you know, when you guys first of all when That's look, a t shirt. When Adam 100%. comes out, you 100%. give him a fucking applause break and you start going little stinker oh, and then no. yeah. when he <laughs> when he hits, the theater. When he hits that little stinker bit, watch the fucking <laughs> eruption because it's gonna be such anticipation for it and then bang hits it's gonna floor you dude and then the rest of the set was just for a guy uh you know montreal new face is a very tough thing to do and you just see, and you were on late in the show like the ninth or tenth act where the crowd was, was like the agents weren't i was up there the agents were looking at their phone they didn't care and then Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. Then, because of my uproarious laughter, people started paying attention. Um, so oh, you owe your career you so to me. Much. No, I'm kidding. All no, right, no, no, I owe you. <laughs> no. I'll do a joint bank account from now no. on. Every money. <laughs> yeah, no. I'll give you 10%. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, Chris, Promo no. code stinker. No, but don't, what did you say, no. Pimp? That people, re- the agents, the industry really stopped and listened pretty much only to him, Sagalo, and that girl. Yeah, that, I agree with that. But you almost rolled off the balcony. You were going, this is a hard I've ever seen you laugh. No, I was literally, it, it, it opened up, it opened up something inside of me that has caused like a chain link of events to happen where now I actually live here. And it, and it, <laughs> no, I like the smash cut to you laughing at Little Stinker to wearing a baby helmet. Yes. <laughs> and you're like, I don't know how I got here. To admitting I'm sleeping on the floor of my podcast studio. <laughs> <laughs> Me no. and Mike Cannon are both relapsed covered yeah. in Oh, dude, I would fucking love what it. What happened in Montreal? I'll, I'll come here and live too, dude. But, yeah, dude. So, so I, so I remember though, it was kind of cool to have like that cathartic experience that I think comics, for the most part, are robbed of. Where like why now I felt like an audience member. Where I'm like, okay, yeah. I'm laughing and this is shaking shit off yeah. that was stuck to Very me. Very nice. So it's great. Nice. So you better Very fucking sweet. do that at Chicago Theater. <laughs> just, hey, no or, pressure. Or you can drive Dude, home. I could just <laughs> I could just picture like tonight on CBS Primetime, Little Stinker. And it's just you pointing oh, into the yeah. camera. Do you have Little Stinker merch? No, I don't have any merch right now. I got Dude, that's... all right. Here's 
Call Vinny. Do, can we make a little sinker merch? We'll give you 100% of the profits. Would you care? Yeah, sure. All right, would, you, would you care to make money? <laughs> that sounds, that sounds Look, at this. Sweet. Look at this. Let me tell you something right here. I want to tell you something right now, oh, loud and clear, even though I am it's fully. Worst, no, that's the worst picture of me ever. Look at that face. It looks like I'd argue I'm going like to eat a baby. It looks like this. you're fighting off a pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> it does. Not today, June teacher. <laughs> 